I'm Maddie from The Hamster Lover and today I'll be doing a hamster haul. So let's get started. I um, prefer you always have a hamster wheel in your um, cage because it, they're really good exercise for them and they um, have, and I like the silent spinner because they're silent and if you have it like in your room it's really good and the wire type will give them mumble foot. So I would not I prefer the silent spinner. Your hamster should always have a ball too because like it's really good for them and like if you're cleaning the cage like you can always put them in here but make sure you shut doors or you have put a gate by your stairs so they don't like roll down or get injured. Okay. You should always have like a hideaway for your hamsters because like it's like their safety area just like your bedroom. Like it's theirs and they know they're safe there. I like the Igloo and the Petco Hideaway, the Petco two-story house, because like they're both really good objects for them. And then hamsters should always have a water bottle, because hamsters and gerbils um, go and get water every 30 minutes, water and food to be exact. Your hamster should always have a hamster bowl, because like it's just really good. And then the hamster should always have food. And um, I put my food in a container like this. Mine's a rubber band made, and it's really good because like you can just put them in there, and and it keeps it fresh for a long time. And I use Brown's um, natural hamster food, and it's really good for them because there's natural, it's natural, and there's minerals. And then I use a measuring cup so I can get the perfect amount for them. And then for treats, you should always have treats for them. And I use sunflower seeds, but you have to make sure they're unsalted, and regular Cheerios. And if you don't use regular Cheerios, it's unhealthy, like honey nut or multigrain. Those are not good for them. And then you should always have chew toys for them because it's like really good. And then um, I use healthy toppers. And I have banana and papa. And then I also have um, strawberry yogurt drops because those are really good for them. And then um, I use the, the hamster potty for them because like it makes cleaning their cage so much easier. And it keeps their kitchen smelling so bad. Like here they just go in it and then they use the restroom. And then like if it starts to smell you can change this or you should do um, a full hamster cage cleaning. And then I use um, Citrus Magic Pet, ideal for hard to bathe pets, all natural foaming pet cleaner for them because you cannot get them wet and this is really good. Yeah. And then I use Carefresh bedding and this is the Carefresh confetti bedding and it's longer lasting odor control and I got the big one because I have the two cages. And this and perfect for these small pets. Rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, reptiles, rats, mice, gerbils, ferrets, chinchilla, and birds. But I prefer you don't use it for birds and um birds and reptiles. But it's really good. So here's all my supplies. That's all my supplies. And it's really good for them. Thanks for watching. Remember, I'm Maddie from The Hamster Lover. Thanks. Bye. Remember to subscribe.